What's going on, Z Nation? Zaid here on ZSPN. And today, guys, I want to talk about the Lakers and free agency. And so far, how's it been going so far for the Lakers as concerned free agency? And now, obviously, we all know uh, the Lakers um, signed LeBron James to uh, to a five four year deal, one hundred and fifty four million dollars. And they signed a couple of free agents like uh, Lance Stevenson, uh, JaVale McGee. Uh, Rajon Rondo and uh, re-signed uh, KCP. Um, now, uh, before anything, like always, please make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, share my videos all over Facebook, Twitter, all the good social media stuff. Now, um, as of right now, uh, the Lakers for free agency, uh, it looks like they like uh, they're quieting quieting down right now, but. Uh, for me, I think there's still more to improve, uh, in my own opinion, for uh, for the Lakers to be a much better team. Uh, we all witnessed uh, a couple days ago that the Golden State Warriors just brought in uh, Boogie Cousins on a one-year, I think it was like $5.4 million. Uh, I probably made a video about this, uh, my last video about it, and um, for me, it's just a another deal breaker for uh, Lakers as concerns for a possible uh, uh, finals run. Uh, they are a playoff team without a doubt, but um, the thing is, uh, you know, with with the signing of uh, a Boogie Cousins, it is uh, sort of a, it's sort of like a two, two-way thing. It's like you're risking a player who's just coming out of a uh, uh, an Achilles injury. So the thing is with that is, is he the same old player that he used to be, averaging about 25 to almost like 12 to 15 rebounds a game? Um, you think that, uh, that if he's still the same, will the Warriors be a much better team than they were the last, these last couple of years? Uh, that still remains to be seen, but as of right now, the Lakers, um, for me, they still need improvement. Now, obviously, uh, the the more improvement uh, position uh, player that we need, that's a need for the team, is uh, the center position. Uh, obviously, we have like Javale McGee, but we all know that he is more of a backup point, uh, backup center for uh, the Lakers situation. And we have um, Mo Wagner and um, uh, Zubac, but the thing is uh, they're still young and they're still developing as players. Now, um, I want to give my uh, serious apologies to Mo Wagner. I mean, I see how he played in the, in the G League so far, and the guy is a decent player. Knows how to defend, knows how to... Uh, play offensive uh, basketball and he can he knows how to he knows how to score uh his first game i believe he scored like 24 points and averaged like maybe eight rebounds and these last couple of games he's been averaging like maybe like 14 points maybe 12 uh it's pretty decent points but it's not like um it's not like anything uh you know, it's, it's the G League. I, I don't really judge the G League by how players perform there. I mainly judge them either in the preseason or in the or in their couple of uh, games in the regular season. So uh, the thing is, uh, they're still young, and by having a, a player being added on to the Lakers as concerns center-wise, will basically boost up the Lakers' chances for a. Um, for a possible playoff, maybe a conference final run. And uh, for me, there's a couple of players on my list that the Lakers should target uh, as concerns possible, like uh, centers. I can't really think of most of them in my mind, but if you have somebody in mind, guys, uh, comment down below, give me your thoughts and your opinions of, of a potential veteran center that can start for the Lakers. Uh, obviously, the one that comes in my head and which all Laker fans are thinking of, it is uh, Brooke Lopez. Uh, the guy could re-sign with the Lakers. Um, he even said that he would take a discount to re-sign with the Lakers if they are playoff contenders, and obviously we are. 
Uh, LeBron James joined the team, and with the added addition, with the recent signings we did, um, Brooke Lopez could possibly re-sign with the Lakers. Uh, it is a possibility. Uh, I read a couple of reports here and there saying that he, he, he wants to, but then there's at moments that he wants to be, uh, be with the team long term. Um, I don't really see the Lakers giving him a long term contract. Maybe a short term, maybe two, three years. I don't really see that uh, possibly happening. Maybe they'll sign him to a one year deal, but uh, it still remains to be seen if the Lakers are interested actually to get back uh, Brooke Lopez. Uh, secondly, um, I brought this up on, uh, on maybe like a, on a, in a post on Twitter, something like that. I said something on Twitter saying that, uh, if the, if the, um, if the Thunder decides to buy out Carmelo Anthony, uh, out of his contract, would the Lakers go after him? Um, uh, some Laker fans might like that some of them don't because you know come out Anthony is aging he's like 34 right now and um could there be a possibility that he joins the Lakers there is that possibility and it sort of makes sense uh by adding on come Anthony he could probably be the the second option maybe a third option uh you know he's not really working well with the Thunder anyway so um if he decides to join the Lakers he will team up with LeBron and I think he will be in a better atmosphere and a better uh, sense of joining LeBron and he will definitely be a great need for LeBron so uh, and the Lakers so uh, I really consider that but um, I don't really really see that happening maybe he will go join the Houston Rockets I'm not so sure what's the mindset if they are deciding to buy out if the Thunder is deciding to buy out uh, Carmelo Anthony's contract. So um, it still remains to be seen anyway. And uh, you guys probably saw an, an, maybe a report also saying that Chris Bosh could possibly make an NBA return and join the Lakers. Um, if that possibility does happen, if he's passed with medical issues and his clog um, and everything like that, uh, if he comes back and he's... 100% good with the doctors and everything. Maybe the Lakers will consider bringing him uh, to the Lakers. Uh, maybe they'll possibly bring him in. But I don't think it's going to be anything long-term or any short-term. Maybe it's like a one-year deal. Uh, if that's a possibility. But I don't really... Maybe I'm mainly not really seeing that happening. But it's just rumors and talks. But it could be a possibility. We cannot ignore that at all. Um, but as of right now... Uh, I can't really think of any other centers other than Brooke Lopez. But I, the reason I brought those players up is because um, if the Lakers want to improve and try to have a better chance of beating the Warriors, I really believe that uh, Carmelo or Chris Bosh will be a great uh, added on to the Lakers and who will definitely work well with LeBron James. And Brooke Lopez, he'll definitely work well with uh, LeBron James also. And he knows the team anyway, so... Uh, adding on Brook Lopez will be a, a added bonus also. So um, I, I might be thinking some other players on top of my head, but I don't really think the Lakers will go after them. Like, for example, uh, Jabari Parker. Um, I, I believe he's still a restricted free agent, so even if the Lakers give him a contract, uh, they will definitely uh, match it. Um, the Bucks will match it, but... Uh, He's also another option that the Lakers could look at. And also, um, some of you all might disagree with me on this, but um, I truly believe if they sign this player, um, he will definitely maybe, what's the word I'm looking for, maybe like a resurrect uh, his career and, and be a much better player than he was his rookie year. And you guys probably know where I'm going with this. It's uh, uh, Jaleel Okafor. Uh, Jaleel Okafor, guys, I, I don't know. Something about him really resonates with me saying that he might change his ways and change how he plays if he's at a different atmosphere like the Los Angeles Lakers. Um, his rookie year, guys, he played tremendously well. I mean, the guy averaged about 17 to 20 points per game and averaged maybe like 
maybe like eight to nine rebounds. Uh, the guy was decent in his rookie year with the in Philadelphia, but then, you know, it looked like he didn't want to be there anyway. Uh, he doesn't like the organization. He didn't like how they were before, and um, I really see Jaleel. And once he went to the Nets, he just really wasn't happy there. And I just really believe he's at a different atmosphere and a different. Uh, uh, organization like the Lakers, he will definitely uh, be a much different player. I mean, that's just my own personal opinion. I mean, he hadn't, he didn't suffer any major injuries. He didn't suffer anything that really declined his playing, uh, playing ways. Uh, I really believe that Jaleel Okafor could possibly be a a helped asset to the team, and uh, I think he will definitely. It will definitely boost his career if he joins the Lakers, to be honest. That's just my own personal opinion. So if you guys agree with me or disagree, comment down below. I mean, I really see that he can possibly change his career if he joins the Lakers. That's just my own personal opinion about that. But other than that, I there's also Greg Monroe, but I don't really see that happening. I mean, the guy, ever since he got traded, when he was with the, uh, uh, the Pistons, he really did not... Uh, lived up to his contract when he got his big contract and he did not really live up to his uh, his hype as that sort of big man so um, I don't really see that happening maybe it could you never know the the free agency is all full of surprises I mean we did not even know that LeBron James will join the Los Angeles Lakers to be honest I didn't even know so um, it will be a much uh, anticipated uh, free agency so far if the Lakers do decide to bring in the players that I brought up. Uh, to me, I just think it's a good basketball decision. I don't really care how like uh, how their age is. I mean, come on, LeBron James is 33 and he's still in, in his prime. So um, I really see that if they bring in certain players like Carmelo, maybe Chris Bosh, or Jaleel Okafor, something like that, their careers will possibly boost again and they could possibly end up uh, being a great asset to the team and they could possibly also uh, bring the Lakers back into uh, uh, Western Conference uh, contention not just a playoff team they're just a playoff contention or maybe a finals you never know if the Lakers are able to beat the the Golden State Warriors so guys I want to know your thoughts and your opinions in the comment section down below like this video subscribe to the channel share my, share my videos all over Facebook Twitter all the good social media stuff and you guys if you have any other free agents that the Lakers uh, should also target that will boost the Lakers uh, please comment down below give me their names um, if you guys believe that we are good right now uh, me personally, I don't think we're not because we still need a center. So um, uh, if you guys have any comments about that, comment down below, like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all in the next video. And also, I, I have to bring this up again. Do you guys agree with the choices that I made? Uh, or if you guys don't, also comment down below. Give me your thoughts and your opinions. And I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Go Lakers. Peace.